hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you've been here before thank you for coming back and if you're new i'm great that you've actually come along and clicked on this video if you like this please press the like and please subscribe and ring the little bell and you'll be notified of videos to come and there is a lot of videos to come so i wanted to share with you today my order with sheen this is part of the um calendar uh, video that I'm setting up which is be going out in the next uh, well we're going out this week so yeah I'm doing calendars for my uh, my daughter and my son this year and uh, wait for that video if you haven't um, it might have come up by the time you click on this video so have a look at that see what you think um, sorry I'm really croaky today so please bear with me <clears throat> so I wanted to share with you what I got so I was after little bits and pieces to go in the calendar and of course you know when you're on sheen or any other website you know you're buying something for someone else well, you know you gotta buy a few things for yourself especially if you're into crafting like i am it's lethal so i want to share with you what i've got anyway as you can see there's a lot look at all these packages but look at all this plastic come on guys seriously one bear bug i do have with sheen is their packaging it's atrocious there is so much plastic it's unbelievable so I'll give you an example. Obviously, it came in this bag, which is the outer bag. That's fine. You could have put all of this in here, absolute minimum. But no, no, no. They packed it in these two bags as well, inside the postage bag. I mean, seriously, look at all this plastic. This is going in landfills. So sorry, Sheen, but if you know, if you ever do see this video, it'd be a miracle. But if you ever do, Please check out your plastic. I know I'm not the only one that's got a bear bag with this. But anyway, had my rant. So again, more plastic. Um, a lot of things on Sheen come in their little Sheen bags, which I think are just, yeah, I know why they're doing it. It's kind of like a high-end thing to do, but I don't actually agree with that. So I'm getting a new tattoo. Yay! And I'm looking for a um, lotus flower. Ooh, not that one um so i got these ones to because i like the designs and i'm going to go to my tattooist and i'm going to see if she can come up with design that kind of i'll say like oh yeah i like that bit in here i like that bit in here i like that bit you know and come up with our own one so i really really like this one this is really nice i'm having it done the back of my neck um i've got two tattoos going down my spine so it'll be top of my neck and um, my daughter is learning to be a tattooist so um i'm when she's at that point i'm gonna get her to do one in the middle of my back which is very personal for me but yeah i really like um i kind of want this thing going on as you can see i've got two of them but i really like this as well so we'll see what she comes up with so i got these because they were like i think 75p or a pound each so i thought it'd be good to you know judge things by so I got them. So they're for more reference than anything. Might use them. Right. This is going to be a bit mixed. So I'm going to try and do craft stuff first. Um, yeah. So I got this die. It looks really cute. I'll take it out of his packaging. Of course, it's in packaging. Lots of packaging. Yeah, this is not one that you, re you know, you get the like little flap seal. This isn't that. Hang on a minute. Yeah, oh my God. okay, I'll try and work this out in a minute. Right, I'm going to get it out of this. So it's this, it's lovely. It's like a little scenery and you use this on your cards and it makes like this little cutout. So yeah, you could do like a shaker card behind it. If this video is on my card site, this is why I'm giving you all the card stuff. I will try and do a video with this as quick as I can because obviously it's coming up to Christmas and I relate this to Christmas. So look out for that. I'll, what I'll do is I'll do a video of Sheen Craft stuff and yeah so keep your eye out for that one um i'm gonna be honest guys i can't remember how much everything is because they do put a receipt in most of the time can't find it oh that's annoying um if i can link them i will but i'll do it in the craft one rather than this one so look out for that over on my craft site it's my sister site which is um susie sue crafts so I class Sheen as saving money because the prices are incredible. There's a lot of debate about the ethics behind the company, 
which obviously I do consider it and I absolutely hate some of the things I've heard. Uh, we don't know for sure. It's just various investigations. But yeah, OK, um, Primark went for it a few years back and they remodeled quite a lot. So I'm hoping Sheen will too. Uh, but we are in desperate times. We do need, you know, we haven't got much money. We are really struggling because the mortgage has just gone through the roof. Uh, but I still wanted nice bits for my kids for Christmas and little bits just to, you know, um, my crafting side of things really makes me happy. It helps with my mental health. Um, but these are so cheap, all these bits. So I will try and link below. Um, so I got that die. I just wanted to explain kind of my things. I know I'm going to get some people messaging saying they don't agree with Sheen's ethical policies and shouldn't buy from there, etc., of course everybody's entitled to their opinion um and i agree with the ethics side of it definitely but it needs to be changed rather than just not buying you know it needs to be brought up again and again and again until it drives them up the wall more than anything so i saw these which i thought was really good and i quite like them because i like anything to do with the sky um these were quite cheap and they're double-sided as well i mean look at them great little northern light cards beautiful really really like them and galaxy galaxy cards oh, i love anything to do with the sky and galaxy and all that stuff really do oh what's that one at the back it's an odd piece of red paper i can use that too so yeah that's really cool <clears throat> uh and i also try to pick all the craft bits out got these rubber stamps which i really like which i'm going to make some backgrounds with and I have to say, I've bought stamps and dies from Sheen before, and they are really, really good. And they're so cheap. I mean, it's credible, actually. I'm not going to say, how do you do that? Because I don't want them to put the prices up. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, definitely have a look. They've got a load of craft stuff on there. Um, these are really nice. Little snowflakes and stars. And that, again, will go in the craft video. And I also got this background stamp, which is really nice. This is like a... Um, I don't know if it's five by five or six by six. Actually, I think it's more six by six size um, as a background stamp. Little circles, which could be really pretty. And that could work really, really well. I also got this. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, do we have a tear bit? Yeah, I think we've got a flap on this one. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, I know it. The snowman look at that you could even have it down there and have that section and that section separately again i will be doing that in the video so I just take it as i'm doing all the graphics in the video <laughs> um what else have we got oh yeah i got these <gasps> oh i wish i bought more of these what's inside it's like a weird and like all loose right hang on a minute this is going to go everywhere let me just push some of this out of the way they are loose <laughs> ah and stick into the bag oh no it's a ah look run away what is this balloon glue i don't think this is actually meant to be in there this is a bit odd let's help this open and see what this is because this in my pack with my ladybirds uh oh wow why does it say balloon glue that is really odd these are sticky dots little dots and i assume they're to go on the these so you can stick them to your project although they are absolutely freaking huge look at the size of that can you see that guys i don't know if you can see that to the size of the little ladybird hang on come here little ladybird well it's way too big uh, luckily i've got some small ones so we can do that so three sticky dots I like that didn't realize they came with it but these are so cute check these out look at them oh i love them i wish i bought more i've got little little wooden ladybirds they're really really cute but these are adorable yes i know you don't really get pink ladybirds and yellow ladybirds we do get some yellow ladybirds Hey ho, we can break the rules. 
that's the lovely thing with crafting it can be whatever you want it to be so i'm just going to kind of put these over here because i need to sort that out um so i'm trying to do the card craft bits first yeah i also got this little christmas tree which i really wanted to just use as trees rather than christmas um for some of my backgrounds card stamps and um die scenes i can't get that open okay it's really fiddly oh there we go that's a nice little die i like that it's a nice size it really was what i was looking for and i also got this little fence these dies were so cheap i mean when you look at you know dies from other companies they can be really expensive and they really are an investment but these are so cheap obviously you're limited on what you can get but they really do work as well guys so go for it little fence that'd be a great little fence for a beach one yeah i like that <clears throat> sorry <coughs> i've got like this really groggy thing going on in my throat i'm not ill it's just a really strange thing i can't seem to get rid of this morning so i'm trying to make sure i've got all the craft bits for paper craft before i go on to the next bit so here we go oh yeah i got these as well i've got lots of numbers and um letters in different shapes these are really cute i love these i love this sort of bubble effect um i think i've got an alphabet in them i'll have to have a look but if i haven't i really hope they bring an alphabet out but same design one of the other things that uh, I bought was I want to make my own candles. So I bought some soy wax and I've got some leftover candle wax and stuff. And then I saw on Sheen, they're really good value, silicon moulds and accessories for candle making. So I'm just going to go from a candle making section. I will be doing this as a video ooh, on YouTube as well. This is really cute. It's really hard to see it like this. I have to wait till I kind of do it. I'm going to do these, not as candles, obviously, it's really, really tiny, but as wax melts. I'm also going to make some wax melts. And these are little partly in chocolate bars. They are so cute. Really, really cute. I like that. And these can also be used in other card making stuff as well. Um, using like uh, ultra thick embossing powder and colours to make accessories for cards and projects. Um, clay and resin all sorts of things so because they're silicon they're like really good don't put them in the oven or anything like that i don't know if they're actually safe for that so i wouldn't try it well you so we've got that one Let's that that way and these are all my kind of silicon molds i thought these were really cheap i swear i'll give it a go <laughs> oh this one's really cute can you guess what this is can you guess what it is <laughs> It's a little bum. Don't ask me why I got an obsession with these things. I just love the female form. Love the male form as well. Yeah. But <laughs> I love the female form. And this is a can to make a candle. I'm going to make a candle for my daughter with that and put it in her stocking. She loves all this sort of thing as well. And that's really good. It's quite thick and it's really stretchy. So it'll come out really easy. Just pop them over out of the way. And we've got another one. I think this is more generic candle. I wanted just a basic candle as well. Oops. Oh, you get two pack. Oh, that's really cool. Little cylinder ones. And that's nice size. That's really, really nice size. You can see them compare it to my hand. I don't know. I know you don't know how big my hand is, but you know, that is a really good size. That's bigger. I know that the measurements are on the site. But when I measured it, it definitely wasn't as big as this. I know that sounds strange, but it's a visual thing. I'm a very visual person. Uh, I need to see something to know it exactly, which can be really annoying sometimes. But I think that's really cool, like that, and really nice quality. We'll see how they stand up for the actual crafting. I'll be reviewing that. And we've got this one, which is just a shaped candle, which is really cute little bubbles so you kind of put it in there and you do the candle out the top i will be going for all these molds in another video that's cute like that and 
I love getting packages. I don't know about anyone else. Does anyone else do this? Do you absolutely obsess? I mean, I, I used to get really obsessed. I spent a lot of money in the past just because of this thrill of opening all this stuff. It's terribly addictive. So be careful, guys, because it really is addictive. And I bought this little heart one. Oh, that is cute. Little tiny candles. These, I think these can be used as floating candles. I'm going to give them a go. And I will update you. And do we have one I can get open? Yay! Oh, yeah. I got this because it reminded me of the Ruby Cube. I think it's meant to be, actually. Oh, that'd be really fun. Yeah. That one's a little bit thinner, but I'm still not sure it'll still be okay. Because I'm only putting hot wax in here. I'm not putting it in, like, in the oven or anything. I'm not even going to attempt to do that. I don't think they're oven proof, but... I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> okay, how do we get into this? No idea, so let's just cut it. Cut bits off so we can tear it. There we go. So, oh yeah, I've got all of this. The paw print candle. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. And it's thick and it's really pliable. Really like that. The lovely thing with the silicone ones, because you can still get the solid ones, but I just think these are great because like, you can literally just pop it out of the mould. How much easier is that? Brilliant. If you already make candles, please, you know, ignore all this because you're probably going, yeah, I know this, but I don't. I'm new to it. So that's why I'm kind of going for it. Uh, so, the, yeah, the other thing I want to do as well are wax melts. I want to do some wax melts as gifts. And I bought some fragrances on eBay, and that was really cool. Um, if you buy five, you've got seven free. I'll try and link that as well. And I got them. Oh, my God, they are lovely. So I'm going to buy some more. The scents are absolutely amazing. So I know these are quite small, but I thought they'd be so cute as little wax melts, little hearts. Imagine doing this as gifts for, like, uh, Valentine's Day. I was thinking of doing, like, wax melts, putting them in little bags, tying up little bows and sell them online. Um, yeah, it'd be cute. You could do that for someone you love. Or Mother's Day. That would be really nice. Things like that, or just to celebrate someone, you know. Why do we have to have a day? It can be anything, can't it? Oh, these are cute. I wanted to do these as wax melts as well. Uh, little snowflakes. I mean, this is it's nice. I'm not too sure. We'll see. This one's a little bit be interesting to see if the detail comes out because there's a lot of detail in that. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. We're gonna try it. The nice thing with the wax is if it doesn't work, you just melt it back down again. So, great. Brilliant. Melt it down, put it in a different mould. So you're not wasting anything. And like the hearts, I got the stars. Which for Christmas as well. Or any time. I love stars. So that's not a seasonal thing for me. Uh, right, where are we? Oh, I was just like looking at it thinking, what's that? You know, you order something and you come, you get order a lot of things like this, and it's just like, what is that? What did I order? And now I remember. Little silicon jigsaw pieces. So cute. <laughs> is anybody else like me in that way? I love tiny things. Little tiny things. I've got lots of little tiny things. I'll show you my little drawers in my car room. <laughs> one day um i'm obsessed with miniatures of everything always have been since i was a little kid even when i was little it was always the miniature bits and pieces like uh, i had a doll's house and it was always things like the little food bits and soaps and things like that i was absolutely obsessed with kept them all in a little box so they're like really really cute love that and oh we got little poor wax melts i didn't realize i ordered these remember ordering this oh they are so cute that would be perfect they're quite deep ones as well Little pores adorable oh this is gonna be so much fun I'm really excited put that side in it that's part of the card making again um where are we i know there's more stuff okay so i ordered all the bits that we need for the candles as well so we've got our little sticky bits here these are a little wax what you burn it wicks yeah <laughs> so i forgot what it's called every second uh so yeah we've got the wicks 
all the other stuff as well. It hasn't come as one package. It's come all separate. It's really weird. And this little thing that holds the wick on the um, candle base. So uh, I'm just trying to get one. You like that. And you put it over it. And then you put your wick through it. But this will all come out in the other video anyway. I know there was a third thing to that. Mm, okay, I might have to look that up online because I'm pretty sure there was a third thing. Or am I just missing it because it's got stuff somewhere? Or there's more here. There's more. Okay, not sure. We'll, we'll work that one out and I'll do that in the video. I also missed this on the dies as well. Um, little candlesticks and little wreath. And it's good for making like little Christmas doors for cards or. Um, Little fireplaces. I've got a little fireplace die. That'll be cute for that. So that's really cool. And right, these are, unless I might come across the other craft bit, miscellaneous bits for stockings and for the calendar. I've actually done the calendar for my kids now. I've got a couple of odd bits for my son because I didn't have as many of him. So my son's really into like um, guitars and bands and he's very much bandy. <laughs> Probably not what you call them, but I can't remember what they're called. He plays guitar and he's just been invited to be in a band. So, yeah, that's really cool. And I've just listened to a demo of their music and it's really, really good. So I got this necklace because this is kind of his style. And that is really nice quality. I don't think that was much money. As I said, I will list all this below. What I try and do is, um, yeah, I'll, I'll work something out. Don't worry. That's really nice quality. He's going to love that. I think that might kind of... It's either calendar or um, stocking. Not sure yet. Um, oh, these bits were for me. This is my jewellery making. Not that bit. Let's get this over here. We'll deal with that in a minute. And... <laughs> yeah. We've got this little... This is cute. This is for the stocking. Little moo cow. My daughter loves little moo cows and little cute things like this. And this is what your charger cable goes through. You take it open like that in the back, put your charger cable through. And that goes on like the end of your charge cable. I'm going to get my charge cable. So that goes like through there. So it's sitting like that. It's just a little cute thing. You know, because it is that kind of stuff. <laughs> Why not, shall we say? That's what we say. Why not? And people say, why'd you get that? Why not? Oh, good point. So, what have we got here? Ah, oh, earrings. Ah, oh, earrings for my daughter. Little froggies. She loves froggies as well. And look, they got little backs. So they go on the back of the earring. And then the little back legs, there, come down below your earlobe. So cute. I don't think she's got these. I know she has got some frog earrings, but I don't think she's got these. Um... Yeah, another bag. <laughs> uh, I can't tell this enough, can I? <clears throat> oh, yeah, she really loves. Um, you know, when you get those days when your brain just doesn't engage. <laughs> That's today. Um, uh, it's from uh, this is from I can't remember the name of the films like Magnific Magnificent Beast. Is that the name of the films, or is that like one of the films? I can't remember. But I remember him. I know he's so cute. Um, and I know Amy loves those films. So they're to go in the calendar. And she'll probably, hopefully, she'll like them. If she does, she'll put them on her backpack school. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, let's go. Another necklace for my boy. Like this. He'll probably like this. That's very cool. It's a really heavy weight as well. They're really, really good quality. You know, you can get some really good stuff on chain for that. That's really cool. And chain, it's really nice quality. Well, yeah, really pleased with that. Brilliant. Uh, what's this one? This is like opening Christmas presents. This is great. I love it. Um, oh, this is cute. This is for my daughter, for her advent calendar. And it's like a little um, claw 
with a little ball and this is glowing in the dark that's really cool and that's a necklace detail it's kind of good I must try that and glow in the dark yeah that's cool like that <clears throat> excuse me oh I've just found the wax accessory kit yeah okay um I take back what I said I must have bought those two other things the wicks and the little holder separately this is the actual kit I thought this was some string I didn't realize what it was I was looking at it so this is the wax thread that comes on a roll this one so there's loads in there and then the little bottoms and then I get another little stand so I've got two stands you can buy these really cheaply on my eBay and that um because like if you do more than obviously if you're doing multiple candles you're going to want multiple things you don't have to use those stands you could use um you could use two pencils to hold the wick and hold it across you could use um two skewers you can do loads of things if you don't want to pay the money but they were so cheap i wasn't really that worried i mean they really were stupidly cheap okay, another who's this for ah this is for my daughter that's really nice i think this might end up in the stocking it's a little lizard she's got a little gecko called nala and she's so adorable She's a leopard gecko. And yeah, oh, no, it's got a bit twisted. There you go. It's got a little connector, a chain. Nice quality. That's quite thin, you know. I mean, it's not heavy like the other two, but it's not thin, thin. And it's, you know, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's nice. It's great little stocking fillers. I don't want to just buy them things that are going to end up like in the charity shop. I'll try something for some years um which is like a bit heartbreaking because <laughs> you know i don't buy stuff i buy it because i think they're gonna like it i'm not just randomly buying crap to shove in a stocking so when they don't like it i'm like mm. but i think i'm getting more of the gist now oh wow i think i've got two of these i've got one for my boy and one for my daughter what's that gonna do okay the chain is disconnected from the oh, pendant hang on Come on, go through. There you go. All right, let's do it up. Brr. I don't know why it was off. That's really odd. Okay, strange. Maybe they're made in two different areas. So it's got a nice chain. Uh, it's like little balls. That's really nice. And a guitar, because both my kids play the guitar. Um, my son plays bass. And my daughter plays the electric guitar. And that is really cool. That's really nice quality. It's really thick. I'm very impressed with this one. And that's another one. The same thing as I bought one each. And what we got here? I did need a few more things for my son's calendar. My daughter's one was easy to do. <laughs> she always is. Because girls are easy to buy for when you're a girl, I think. But yeah. Um, oh, your key ring. Oh, I didn't manage to get two. Yeah, that's cute. Little key rings, I don't know if you can see it. It says, I love you to the moon and back. It's something that me and my daughter used to say to each other. I used to say to her, or she say to me, I love you to the moon and back. And the other one would say, I'm back again. So, yeah, really cute. I think I initially bought that for my daughter, but I didn't realize there was two. So, I don't know if my son would like that or not. No, I'm going to think about that. So, also. Coming quite a long video. I think this is the longest video I've done so far. There's a lot of stuff. Um, ooh, okay. I bought this. Yeah, I bought this. I think I bought this for my boy. It's a ooh, bracelet. Because he wears these sort of bracelets. It's got a little guitar on it. Little cord. Little strap bit to the end. That's really cute. I like that. Yeah, cool. And I've also bought one for my daughter. I've got the same thing. These are my And my daughter suffers with a lot of anxiety uh, as a 
I may have mentioned in another video, she's in hospital at the moment because she's got an eating disorder. But I keep buying things and I find them um, to help with her anxiety. And um, she has one of these. This is, I didn't get this from Sheen. Um, I got this from a local card shop. It's got a cool noise. And it's a fidget toy, so you can do lots of things, turn it, bend it, it's really cool. And I got one for myself because I like fidgeting. <laughs> but I got this little key ring one, so she can put on like her bag or something and she's got that with her wherever she goes. So I got that for her stocking. And I got this from a boy, it's a key ring, it's all, of course. Oh, yeah. He plays guitar all the time, he's obsessed with guitars. <laughs> he's got two at the moment. He wants another one for Christmas. And my lovely cousin, um, her son died. He was in an accident, Paul. He was my second cousin um, years ago now. But they've still got his guitar because he used to play the guitar. And she's offered for Sam to have it. So I think that's absolutely just amazing of her. And so nice and thoughtful and just incredible feeling. And he's really honoured. So I think he's looking forward to playing that. And yeah, so I got this. I got this thing for my daughter. And it's a little beardy dragon on a key ring. It's quite small. I don't know if I can get it on my finger. I'll get it on my little finger. Look at that. You see that? That is so cute. Loving it. Really love that. Yeah. That's cute. Um, <laughs> little spot patches. I don't know if anyone else uses these. I think these are brilliant. That's for my daughter's stocking. Oh, her skin's quite good at the moment. I got this for my son, which is a little key ring tool set because... You never know when you're going to need a tool. Like sometimes he needs things for his guitar or like he hasn't been on his bike for ages. But when he was on his bike, you never know you're going to need it. You've got the um, straight head and you've got the, do you know, I said, you know, I said oh, my brain's not working today. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. One of these. Oh, so you can see it. Which goes on key rings. Great for guys. Not being prejudiced because I do loads of DIY. But. You know, people looking for gifts for men, little trinkets and that. Great. So, we're getting down to it now. We're getting there, we're getting there. Hope you're not getting bored. Trying to keep you guys entertained. Really don't want to get bored. Last thing I want. And I've got this for my daughter, because my daughter's got a bit more room in her room. And that fixes it on the wall. I wouldn't use these, I'd use decent screws. You never get decent screws with anything like this. And that's to hold the guitar on the wall. And I think she'll like that. So, yeah. She'll probably wonder what that is when she gets it. Be like, what's that? Um, burr, burr, burr. Okay. I've got this key ring. That was for my sister. Because my sister loves hedgehogs. I've got two sisters. One of them. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, my God. It's even better than on the website. Look. Little baby hedgehogs. Oh, that is so cute. I think she's going to love that. Uh, another one of these little... Um, oh, so much packaging. Um, I suppose they've got a package them up separately, haven't they, really? I mean, I guess. I don't know. Another one of those little cord things. Too cute. Has to go in the calendar. <laughs> right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're getting there. Get rid of rubbish. I bought some other little tattoo bits. I don't know. If, oh, because I really like this moon. This is something like I want my daughter to do for me, but a bit more decorative in the actual moon. But I like the hanging stars. And I got this for my daughter for a stocking. Because she's very much into... Um, I don't know, she's got her own style. But um, alternate things. And I don't know if she liked that or not, but I got that. And... Finally, socks, 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 socks. Yes, I know it's a strange thing. My daughter likes naughty socks. So I got all these. Oh, look, little hamsters. She's had a couple of hamsters. 
but they don't last long. That's the only problem before they die. But yeah, got them for her. And who did we get what for? Ah, got these for her pride socks. And yeah, says that. <laughs> these are for my son, guitar socks. <laughs> And I also got these um, piggy ones. My mum always wants things to put. She, my mum does stockings for my kids as well. Yeah, I know it's strange. <laughs> She's done it ever since they were born. I find it a bit weird, but <laughs> when they were little, she used to say, um, oh, Father Christmas came to my house too. <laughs> and when they were really little, of course, they got away with it. And as they got a bit older, they were like, huh? <laughs> Making sense? But yeah, look, little piggies. I think she'll wear them. I hope she'll wear them. Not because of the piggies, but because she does like this type trainer sock. But these didn't have these in trainers. The little quacky ducks. So cute. Right. Oh, oh hang on. One more thing. But I don't know if you guys are interested. I got this a replacement for my daughter because her other one got ruined. And it's a t-shirt oh you guys can see it with mushroom design so that's going to go in her presence this is citrine yellow citrine this one is garnet i think it's garnet it's not red jasper i think it's garnet and this one is so delight if i'm saying these names wrong i do apologize because i tend to say names how i see them and that may not be the way that they're actually pronounced i've just always done that so i do apologize and then we have this one which i just really liked And this one is obsidian. I don't think it's a chakra crystal. It might be a chakra crystal. There's quite a few chakra crystals. It's not like a standard one crystal each thing. But I just wanted it for the beads. Then we also have this gorgeous. And this again is real. It is so, so cold. And that's how you can tell it's a real crystal. I wish I could show you. I, I hope this is going to catch how beautiful these beads are. This is Tiger's Eye. You can tell why it's called that, can't you? And they're stunning. Again, I bought it for the beads, even though it's actually a bracelet. And this was originally £1.75 and it's £1.42. You can't get Tiger Eye beads anywhere for that price. I don't know how she manages it. I guess it's the quantities they buy in that's often with these big companies. So this is Obsidian. It's really stunning. It's such a lovely glossy black. And that was 150 originally, and I got it for 122 with a discount. This one I don't actually know and I don't know if it's actually, I've got a thing it is a crystal but I don't know what it is. But it's a navy blue with this most amazing glitter. It looks like glitter but it sparkles in it. I don't know if I can actually get this light in here enough for anybody to tell me what it is. I don't know if it's capturing it. It just might look black in the picture. I'm not sure. But it's absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. And I saw it in a picture and I thought, I just want that. No matter what it is. So I got it. And then we have... Okay, so this is Rose Quartz. Which is, I think it's meant to be a bracelet, but again, I bought it just for the beads because it comes on an elasticated thing. And 
and this i couldn't believe it it's been reduced to 75 pence and i got it for 61p i thought that was brilliant it's not the really really pinky one that you can get it's a slightly paler shade which you can get in the crystal and also because they're small they don't show up colors quite as much when they're lighter and this one is clear quartz this one was 125 and i got it for one pound two p again for the chakra beads so i've got quite a nice amount of chakra beads <coughs> excuse me so these three are exactly the same and these were crystal um, faceted beads that I want for the mobiles that I'm doing. These are 10 millimetre. I got 30 in a pack. They're supposed to be a pound and I got them for 82p. And these are stunning. These are going to really show up in the light. I'm just going to really pile this up here so I get a bit of a better vision for you. Yeah, so 30. And they're really nice quality see that gorgeous little sparkle it's gonna look stunning on the mobile in the in like the sunlight and oh these look absolutely amazing in the evening if you've got spotlights in your rooms as well spotlights really show up and led light spotlights especially because my kitchen really shows up crystals i got these little beads i'm not actually sure how big they are probably about uh, maybe six seven millimeters but they're really cute i think they're meant to be amethyst i don't know if they're amethyst they may be because they do actually do crystals on sheen but oh they're really cute um these ones which i think are um obsidian don't think they're onyx because onyx is more expensive and they're really nice and they're really cold which is usually a sign that they are actually crystal these are gorgeous i've got so many of these and really nice for doing the um wind chimes that i'm doing and these are called glow beads as you can see see that beautiful and then again these come in a big strings loads these are glow beads as well i'll pick them up for so many you can see that beautiful beautiful little glow on them amazing it looks like they've got like a battery light in them really really cool uh, yeah. so yeah that's it guys but look at this i'm sorry i have to do this again because come on look at this i mean this isn't even all of it some of it's falling on the floor that is so much look at that all of that packaging for one parcel there's got to be a way around that there's got to be a way of finding a way to make biodegradable little bags i, mean, I know some people are doing that and yes i know it's more expensive so it put the price up but I don't mind paying a few more pence on something to have a biodegradable bag you know i mean the products are so cheap anyway but uh, people like sheen could do that so yeah anyway um hope i'm not too political with you <laughs> so i really like, hope you liked the sheen unboxing and yeah love it and yep i will be putting the other videos on and i'll try and do as many links as i can so thank you for tuning in today uh if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up as i said and please subscribe it really helps me grow my channel and i really want to grow it and i hope to see you all soon have a great day bye guys